Another day in the life of me at the cottage market, except I recently had my wisdom teeth out. I had so much baking to do this weekend, so this video is obviously not going to capture it all. But let's get into it. The weekend usually starts with me making a meal that can last us a couple days for the weekend, so I don't have to bake and cook. And then I get my kitchen all situated so I can start baking. If you're new to my page, here's a formal introduction to my core baking family. Moving on, I started with my sourdough because the recipe has a fermentation time of anywhere from overnight to 36 hours. <laughs> it also went along with a pretty big order I got for some apple pie, some blueberry muffins, and some cinnamon rolls. So in the spirit of baking, what did I do? Oh, I just decided to make extra this weekend. Why? I have no idea. <laughs> so I was literally in the kitchen all day saturday from 7 a.m to about midnight with the exception that i took some stops here and there to spend some time with my family and even though i was on my feet all day and at times it can get a little stressful i still absolutely love baking and i've heard people say that when you do something that you love or a job it's no longer something that you love but honestly if you do what you love for a job then i think that just makes it even more awesome right because now you're getting paid to do what you love. Anyhow, back to the baking part for the market. Another reason why I actually ended up with so much food was I made a couple mistakes and I ended up with a last minute order of some blueberry scones, which I actually literally forgot to put the blueberries in. So I had to remix the dough and then reshape it. And I'm really glad that the blueberry scones didn't turn out tough because of that, because if you overmix dough, that can definitely happen. Also, when I was making my maple glazed chai tea scones, I genuinely forgot how large they are because I haven't made them in a while. And I didn't make the first batch large enough. I didn't cut them large enough. So I made some more that were larger. And then I just sold the first batch as minis and the second batch as large ones. But other than that, everything else went pretty smoothly. You guys, I so look forward to opening a bakery someday, even with the mistakes in mind that I could make at that point in time will be on a possibly grander scale. I still love making things that bring people joy and that they can bring to others to bring them joy. On a side note, my wisdom tooth extraction went well up until this evening. I have been in so much pain. So I've been sitting here eating my applesauce thinking, wow, I have so much cleaning to do. Anyhow, you guys, thanks for tuning in. See you in the next video. <laughs>